Hello, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to cover how to submit a CS50X problem set using Git branches. So the very first thing we want to do is we want to navigate to cs50.harvard.edu slash x. That'll bring us to the CS50X website. We'll navigate to week zero and we'll go to the problem set zero. Under step two of two, you will see that it has some prerequisite instructions that you should follow. The first of which you should have signed up for a GitHub account. So we'll go to github.com. Once you register for an account and sign in, you'll be taken to a page like this where you're already logged in. Then flipping back to the problem set zero instructions, the first bullet point under step two will be to visit this link and log in with GitHub. So if you open that link in a new tab, we'll see that we've automatically been accepted because we've already authorized the application before. And now my GitHub account and my submit.cs50.io account are linked. So at this point in time, if I navigate to github.com slash me50, you'll see that I've been added to this me50 organization in GitHub, and I have a repository that mirrors my GitHub username. If I click in there, this is where all of my problem set work will be submitted to, whether I'm using submit50 or whether I'm using Git like I'm going to show you in this video. So now that GitHub and your submit50 are linked together, we can go ahead and begin to work on a problem set. But before we do that, we need to download and install Git. So if you go to git-scm.com, you'll be taken to a web page where you can download the Git command line tool. You can download it for Windows, Mac OS, or Linux. So please take a moment to pause the video and to download and install the Git command line tool. Once you're done, please unpause the video and resume with the instructions. Okay, now that you have Git installed, we can begin to work on a problem set. So, let's see. I want to work on, let's say I want to work on week four memory and the problem set four and recover. First thing I'll do is read through all of the instructions here, maybe watch the walkthrough video, and then go all the way down to the bottom where it says how to submit. Now, if you're using submit 50, you would give it a slug. Now this slug name just corresponds to a git branch. So the git branch should be the branch that's on your repository under me 50. So we're gonna to need to clone this repository and we're going to need to work with it and push up some changes. So let's open up our text editor of choice and we're going to go ahead and clone this repository. So if you're using VS Code, you can go to the Explorer tab, hit clone repository and in the GitHub web browser, you can see a clone or download button, and we're gonna clone with HTTPS. So I'll go ahead and copy that link, paste it here. It's gonna ask me, where do you wanna look, where do you wanna clone the repository to? I'm going to say, for the sake of this video, in downloads, um, because I just want to demonstrate, but you should probably pick a more permanent location if you're gonna do multiple problem sets this way. I'll go ahead and click select. It's gonna prompt me for my username and password if I have not logged in in the last 10 or so minutes. In my case, I have, so it didn't prompt me for my credentials. It says, hey, I've cloned the repository. Would you like to open it? Yes, I would, I'll open it. And now I'm in my cloned repository. But notice how there's some files in here, right? There is a file called dictionary.c, dictionary.h, and I mean, I, I didn't do any work yet, so why, why are there files? Well, Git checked out my default branch for this repository, which happened to be CS50 slash problems slash 2020 slash X slash Speller. So I'm on that branch. So the very first thing I need to do in my text editor is go back to the master branch. So I'll go ahead and select the origin master branch. So I clicked on the little link on the bottom left where it shows me my branch, it brings up this window, and I'm going to select origin master. Now I'm checked out to the master branch. Okay, let's do some work. Let's create a new file and we'll call it recover.c. And this is where you're going to do your actual work. You know, you would do int main void and you'll actually do your coding work. But for the sake of this video, I already have this problem set done. So I'll go ahead and open it. Okay, and I'll open it in VS Code. And you'll see that I have the problem set already done. I'll copy all the contents from that file and paste it into my new file on the on the master branch. Okay, so I'll hit save. 
but we don't want to submit on the master branch. So we actually need to create a new branch. So we'll hit the master button on the bottom left, hit create new branch. And we're going to make name this branch the same as the slug would be for this problem set. Okay, so now we're on the recover branch. So CS50 problems 2020 X recover branch. And you'll notice that we have one file called recover.c and we have a readme file. Well, we don't really need the readme file, so we'll go ahead and delete that. And now we have a file called recover.c with my problem sets completed work. But now I want to actually push this up to GitHub so that submit50 knows that I've done the work. Well, before we can do that, we need to tell Git how we want to push up files or who we are. I have another file that holds my email just for the sake of this video, my GitHub email. And what we need to do is we need to configure Git to tell it who we are and what our email is. So we'll do git config dash dash global. And then we will say user dot name and in quotation marks, I'll enter my name first and last. Okay, and we'll do the same thing, git config dash dash global user dot email, and then I will paste my email address. So now git knows how to commit and push my files to GitHub. So once I'm satisfied with my work, you can see this little show source control um, pane over here. I'll click that. It says, hey, you've deleted the readme file and you've added a recover file. Do you like that? Yes, I'll add the deletion of the readme. I will add the recover C and I will say as my commit message, P set four and then initial submission. Once I'm satisfied with those, I can click the checkbox to commit it. And then now all I want to do is push it up. So you say push, it'll say, hey, the branch that you're trying to create doesn't have the equivalent branch on GitHub side because there is no such branch. Would you like to create it? Yes, I would. So we're going to push that branch up. Once it's finished, you'll see that it has finished. And on GitHub, it says, hey, you have a new branch here. Let's go ahead and see what that looks like. Let's click on that branch name, recover, and we'll see that our recover.c file is actually here. So does submit50 know about this? Well, let's check it out. Let's go back to submit50, and we'll just refresh this page. And now we'll see that it knows about my new branch called recover. It was submitted. It passed all of the checks, and it passed all the style checks. And if I wanted to get more information, I could always click this little link and it would take me exactly to where it was created on GitHub. So that's how you commit a push a problem set or submit a problem set on CS50X via Git branches. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you again in the next one.